We are back at the fantastic Lindome Lakes complex here where we're here today for a live match video but I'm not competing. This is the first Patron TV match of 2021. That's it lads. Time! That wind's just dropped now. We're on strip today. This is strip lake. We have got, um, I think it's eight to nine anglers on there today and the bulk of the anglers, the majority are here on beaches. We've got Mark Deacon down here. He's on peg one, bit of a breeze blowing in, but he's got the aerator there, lovely looking corner. Really looks nice. And as it turns out, we've actually had three no shows. This is the kind of match where it's not a qualifier. They haven't paid up front or anything like that. You know, it's just really about a sociable get together for followers of the channel. Um, and we've had three no shows, which is fair enough. There are some lads that have traveled over 200 miles to be here today. They've never fished here before. So to only have three no shows, I suppose that's pretty good. However, that has meant that we've had three pegs not drawn today. So that has opened up one or two areas of the swim or certain areas of certain swims, which I'll show you as the match progresses. We're fishing 11 till four. And we've got a bit of a contrast on the venues today because this right hand lake, this is beaches. There are loads and loads of hide on this lake. Four to the pound size fish. And I know some of the lads are gonna be targeting those for the majority of the match, if not all the match. They're just, just gonna get their heads down and catch as many of those as they possibly can. However, there are lots of carp in this lake as well. And there are people targeting carp. Strip pond is slightly different. There are lots of small fish in there, but as you can see, it's a different sort of a lake. It is a, it's almost a, it's a rectangular strip type lake that hence its name but what I've done on that lake is I've left the other bank out so the far bank isn't pegged so that means that these lads here can and have got the option to cast over to the other bank which can be brilliant obviously when we're targeting carp and that so that lake is really kind of a bit on its own that one but there is a separate prize for the lake winner on that lake so these are the early numbers we left peg three out that's because that beautiful green just there is nesting it's sat on, an, on a nest we didn't want to disturb her this is peg four. We've got a great mix of anglers here today. There are some experienced match anglers here. There are anglers that are fishing twice a week. But we've also got anglers here today who have never fished a match in their life. I've literally lent bits of tattle out like keep nets because they don't have them. So it's a really nice mix. This is Nessie, Nessie Gale. Lovely looking peg, how about that for a margin? She's got some pellets, she's got some carp top kits set up. So I think she's gonna be targeting better fish. So that'll be interesting. Beautiful left hand margin there. Bang opposite her is dad. He's her marker for the day. He's gonna be fishing a method feeder all day. He's got a really long margin. I'll have to peg out to his right. So he's got a long margin, so that's gonna be interesting. He's obviously fishing a method feeder, so he's got every chance of catching some better stamp fish. Going around here onto the point here, we've got Fuzz. Fuzz Farrow there. Looks like he's starting to his left. Loose feeding. He's into a fish straight away. That didn't take your long foot. That's your second. Fantastic. They're the fish that we're talking about, that sort of stamp, four to the poundish. Brilliant. Not very deep as you can see by his rig. Brilliant. He's on a bit of a point here. There's dad over there. Where is he? There's dad. <laughs> So we know some people are going to be having a bit of a fish race today. I'm going to keep you up to date on everything as it happens the best I can. There's Chris Buckley. All right, mate. Any fish yet? Yeah, I've had two. Is that two? Yeah. Oh, eh. straight into it. Two fish. That wind's blowing into this into this bowl here. Like I said, there have been three no shows, so that's opened up one or two of the pegs. A couple of the pegs over there are now vacant. Going over to where Tony Chandler is, and then Matt Blackmore. So that's made those two pegs better. But we've got that wind blowing in here, which is nice. Looks really good. We're just coming round to the corner of the bay. This is peg 12, which wasn't gonna be in anyway, because it's in a bit of a tight corner there, but this was gonna be in. 13, that's been not drawn today. Next one, we've got Tony Chandler, who looks like he's got his head down on the pole at the moment. And then the next one is Matt Blackmore. We're about 30 minutes into the match now. You getting a few, Tony? Only a few small eyes. A few small eyes? Yeah, about what? Four ounces. Four ounce. 
four to the pound. I haven't quite figured it out yet how they're taking it. Yeah. Right. You're on the deck? I'm on the, yeah, I'm at the moment, but I'm just thinking about starting to work my way up. Yeah. I think they're coming up already. You know. Brilliant. This fish there, he's just trying to figure the feeding out, he's using maggots. He's just thinking about coming shallow already, we've only been fishing about 30 minutes, but Smart Blackmore's got one. It lied. You get a few bites, Matt? About 10 of them. 10? Fantastic, mate. It's absolutely full of those fish, but like I say, you know, they're not, they're not like half a pound fish. What are they, three, four ounce then, Matt? Well, it's half on feeding. That's it. That's it, you know, you can keep putting them in the net and obviously if you've got a carp line in for later on then that's what it's all about. He's got all the tattle up here today. Always prepared his mat. That peg there, which I think is one of the best looking pegs on the lake, uh, hasn't been drawn today, believe it or not. So that's opened that water out there. I know Matt has got, I was talking about a pellet waggler line as well out there, so that looks really inviting out there. But at the minute, it looks like most people are just getting a few small fish in the net to get going. It's brightening up a little bit, which is nice. It's been very wintry this week. This is peg 17, what I think is one of the best looking pegs here. How about that? Beautiful looking peg, open water, nice big willow here. And you've got a bit of a short margin as well, but it's not been drawn. So that means peg 18 looks nice. That was obviously a bite. And he's got the back edge of that willow to go to as well, which looks really inviting. Any good yet? Just a couple of little eyes. That little eyes? Yeah. yeah, that's all that's been caught so far. That ripples on it, looks quite nice. Yeah, it does. Looks nice. Have you fed your margin yet? Just primed it. Yeah, yeah. He's primed his margin already, so I won't be kneeling down in that spot again, because I don't want to ruin his margin. Just get up to the top end of the neck. It's just a bit of a, uh, a narrow pass through here, and then we've got a, an island here, which looks really nice. Every peg's got its own, its own bit of character. One or two lads fishing the waggler as well with maggots. It looks like most people got their head down on hide and the small fish to start with. And then just going to see how the match pans out. Um, and then make the decisions accordingly. This looks like a better fish. Soft elastic. A little F1 is it? A little scrappy F1. They're a nice stamp aren't they? Have you got any more of those? No, I've only just started. Oh have you? You've just gone in? Yeah. Good. First hard we've seen. Mr. Miller's here. Any good yet, Mike? I've had two but lost them. You've lost oh, two and lost two? Yeah. What good fish? Yeah. Where are you casting? Where them geese are? Them geese are. Little method feeder. Have you lost yeah. them? Have you just pulled out of them? Or pulled out. Oh, mate, good fish. Yeah, a couple of pounds. Oh, right, okay, mate. It's early days. Yeah, it is early days. You're alright, mate. That looks really nice. So you've got the island there, some trees overhanging there, but then you've got the back edge of that willow. Yeah. Um, Mark will get them. I know you will, mate. <laughs> yeah, so this was always going to be an interesting match, this one, because there's so many small fish in here, but there's so many carp as well. So it was always going to be kind of a decision kind of match where you, you make your mind up. Are you going to go for the better fish or the eyed or the small fish? Are you going to, or are you going to mix it up and try one or two things? Any good yet? Too wide. Too wide. Yeah. I'm noticing you're on a method feeder. I gather you're not fishing for eyed on that method feeder, are you? Not ideally. No. <laughs> ideally? Is yeah. there a bit of pun intended there or what? You can have it though. <laughs> That's alright, you're off the mark, mate. That's it. Mr. Whelan's here. Any good yet, John? Just one eyed, mate. We're having an eyed competition. You're having an eyed, a method eyed match? Yeah, is that what it is? <laughs> well, if they're there, I'm sure you'll get them. Look at these overhanging bushes there, look really, really fishy. Yeah. There's got to be some carp there, haven't there? Got to be. There has, yeah. This is one of them pegs where it looks really inviting that there's fish there, but it can be a little bit tricky to fish because you can't really get right underneath, not without a pole. And neither one of these two have got a pole set up, so it's uh, it's going to be very evenly matched. We'll Are you fishing across there at the minute, John? I'm over just on the corner over there, mate. On the, on the corner. Nice margin here as well. The pegs there haven't been drawn as well, so that's opened that corner out, so. Still early days. I think we're going to see a few twists and turns today. I'd really spaced the pegging out anyway because I wanted everyone to have the best possible match but those three pegs that haven't been drawn have really opened up one or two areas. We've got John there, he's the last peg on that bank so that means all this has been left out, this has not been drawn. 
so it's left all this bowl here which looks really inviting especially with these margins that's the island there and Jeff is there he's already seen fish down this margin I want to find out if he's caught anything these are some of the lovely lodges that are here on site and a lot of them have got their own private pegs as well to fish this this is the old oasis lake if anybody remembers that lake from years ago but they're lovely lodges i stayed in one of those last week absolutely first class jeff's on the waggler any good yet jeff one eyed up yet Jeff. one what sorry one eyed one eyed okay mate have you had many bites one at your all oh, right so you're getting bites good yeah, just on pellets yeah, I think small fish at moment, yeah. yeah there's a lot i've only seen one little left one caught so far and all the rest is eyed yeah. the most caught is 10 eyed up to now but some people are just getting their heads down on those oh it's lovely that waggler there doesn't it that looks beautiful there next to them overhanging trees yeah. but jeff's got all that back end of this island to target um he's obviously got the pole set up and he's got that really nice good looking long lot margin there i don't think he'll go to his left that's where mr buller is um but that looks really nice there yeah keep them pellets going in jeff they've got to come mate this is mr buller I'll have to edit it out, will I? We'll have to show this bit after 9 pm. There's a complaint off me and Gaz. There's a complaint? Ten, well, 10 past 11, we don't know the all in, was he? Oh, right. Has you're the, not going has deaf the as well. You want about. Got stuck in the whistle. So you're going deaf. At, well, you're two are fishing your own match, so it doesn't matter. As long as you both start at the same time, that's the main thing. <laughs> got our nets in. The this looks lovely here. Yeah. Well, it's lovely, this. It's like a different different lake. It's this is Mr. There. Buller. It's, Mr. Windy there. it's a bit breezy. Gary's on the long pole. Yeah. Whenever we head out anywhere, even on the group coaching days with Dean, Barlow, these two always draw next to each other. It's unreal. Um, Every time. I know, I think the wives are starting to get a bit jealous now. I think they're starting to ask one or two questions. Gary's on the eyed long pole. Mr. Buller's on the, what are you on Dave, a method? Or a uh, bomb? Method, uh, what's nine method? Uh, you know, empty at the front. Oh, like a pellet feeder? Yeah. Where's that? Just tie it to the island? Yeah. Any signs yet? One dink, that's all. One dink, all right. Not many line bites or anything. It's moving there, look. Is it? Dave's well fish. prepared as usual, as you can see. Little fish. Everything's set up. Whatever happens on the rest of the match, these two are going to have their own battle, whatever happens, even if they don't catch anything. <laughs> <laughs> what are you catching yet? A few eyed? Yeah, I. Have you got many? No, just first one. First one? Gary's on the long pole, as you can see, looks a different lake here completely, doesn't it? Looks nice. That was a fish there. Gary's gone long. Oh, looks really nice there, doesn't it? As long as that breeze stays on, I think it'll really help. It's a really interesting lake because all the pegs have got their own little bit of character. This is the next peg to Gary. Gary's just there. This is peg 30, not drawn. That looks beautiful there, doesn't it? With the island and the overhanging willow. There is a peg there, 31 in the corner, which we left out because it's just tucked away too tight. But this looks really nice for fish moving around and moving up towards where Gary and Dave and Jeff are. This then goes around the point there. Got an angler on the point. Looks like most people are getting their heads down on eyed to start with. But we'll see if any better fish start getting caught because that might alter their, their approach. This peg's on the point, peg 30 two i think it is this looks nice bit of breeze on it you see the anglers on the other bank there that looks nice spot there five six meters are you getting a few bites yes he's just answered me he's answered me without answering me well they all eyed absolutely stuffed with eyed in this lake three four ounce fish four maybe five to the pound it's going to be interesting in the sense that the more of those there are, I think some people might get a bit frustrated with them. It might alter their, their plans. This is a nice looking peg. Not loads of room on this one, but you've got a nice reed lined left hand margin. You've got some to the right as well. Starting just in front. Let's see if he's caught. Any signs yet? I've got one eyed. One eyed? Yeah, it's a steady start for most people. Yeah. If that rain stays off, that's going to be the main thing. And this is where it opens out to a point. There we go, more open water here. That's opposite the willow, the opposite peg 17 that hasn't been drawn. See if we caught, starting on the feeder. Any signs yet? One. 
One what? One uh, little roach. All right, roach. Okay yeah. then. Cool. What are you on? What sort of feeder? Is it a method feeder or a bomb? Or? No, no, no. Uh, open cage. Open cage, right. Okay then. Good, you're off the mark anyway. On a nice point here, this looks nice. And I know this chap is going to be getting his head down on those fish. How many is that you've had? Uh, 20. 20? That's the most so far. And that's the most so far I've heard, but brilliant. I know you're going to get your head down on them, aren't you, for a while? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, he's had a little bit of local information, but he has fished here quite a lot before in the past. But you see how much he's feeding there. He intends on keeping them there. Are you on the deck there as well? No, shallow. I was going to say that's not very deep if that's the deck. Inch. Catching shallow, not shallow, shallow, but shallow to an extent. Just flicking the rig over, a few maggots. I think he's got plenty of maggots with him. So much open water here, it looks really nice, but I'm sure at some stage you might go down this left hand margin if he needs to. If he keeps on catching like this, I'll pull that out of that one. If he keeps on catching like this, he'll not need to unless some bigger fish turn up. But good thing is, as well, with a peg like this, you can see all around like that, so you've got a good idea of what's been caught. If anyone's catching bigger fish, he'll get to hear about it. Just keeping staying really positive with them maggots going in. That's why a lot of the open lads fish on here. Same stamp fish, but when you catch them as close as that and as quick as that, you can put a weight together. Brilliant, well done mate, keep going. Oh, thank you. And he's made a couple of friends as well. He fed them as soon as he's got here and I think they're going to be here all day. Good morning. <laughs> We're about 35, 40 minutes in now and uh, no big fish seen caught yet. It's funny, this looks a lovely long margin this one. Any signs yet? Oh, eyed, little eyed. Little eyed, yep. sure, but I've had one tiny little tench. Oh, have you? Little tench. I've heard there's quite some tench in here. And another um, tench. Look at that, beautiful. One. Let's have a close up of it. We don't catch enough tench, do we? Look at that, aren't they? Beautiful fish. Lovely. Beautiful long margin on this peg. Because of that, because you haven't got much open water, I actually left the next peg out, which is peg 38, I think it is. Dad is the next peg down, so that's a nice, long, quiet margin. So I'm sure that's going to come into his tactics somewhere, isn't it? I'm sure. So it's great to see everybody getting a few bites. That's the main thing for today. There are hundreds of fisheries out there, and one of the reasons why I selected this one and this lake is because everyone's going to get a few bites. With a real nice mix of angle like this, it's not all about winning the match with a huge weight. It's all about just getting to see a lot of people that you only chat with online, you know, through the group and stuff. Um, and everybody's getting bites. You know, if you want to fish maggots, casters, you're going to get bites. There's Dad there, just about to cast in. Is he underarming? Yep, he's underarming. There we go with him. There's a lovely long margin. This. I don't know if he's caught yet, but I know he's going for better fish. Any signs yet, Dad? I had one on it, come off. Yeah. All right. I just come to bait now. Good. Everyone's catching small, you know, they're just them little small fish, three, three ounce jobs. I wonder if these bites are from them. Yeah, could be. Well, Dad's just dropping that method feeder. He's got corn on at the moment. He just had, uh, he's lost one small fish, that's all, but the way he's fishing, he's going to be patient anyway. Like I say, if he gets one, it's probably going to be a, a better fish. We're on the other bank now. So that's Dad there on peg 39. This is peg 40. Ness is opposite there. Are you getting a few? Alright Jamie. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Odin's, it's gonna it's a bit weird really. Is it? Yeah, I've had a couple of small tench, a couple of small eyed. Alright. Are you on the deck? F1 there? about two pound. Oh you've had an F1 have you? Two pound, that's good that yeah. mate. That's the biggest fish I've seen caught that then. Is it? Yeah, everyone's catching eyed at the minute. Anybody who's caught anything's eyed. I've seen one small F1 about twelve ounce a pound if that. Right. So yeah. Yeah, a lot of people just getting their heads down with the hides, so I think you're going to be doing that, aren't you? I'm going to be building, I'm just building that swim up. On your short line? Yeah. Yeah. To clatter them in a bit. That's it, build it up, <laughs> mate, build it up. So that's peg 40, and then as it turns out, these pegs haven't been drawn. This is a really long margin, this. That's peg 40, it goes around on a bit of a bend, as you can see, really nice. That's peg 4 opposite that I know a lot of people fancied. Um, I had a coaching day there with John Brown a few weeks ago. Um, and he caught loads of fish on that peg. Just kept dropping a method feeder in different spots and worked his way across to this other bank. Fantastic. So I'm not sure he is fishing on the tip. I'm not sure where he's casting it. We might be able to see in a minute. Um, that's Mark Deacon over on peg one. But yeah, we've got Mark there. Looks like he's got his head down like he said he was going to on that short pole. 
doesn't look frantic though i thought they would have been in and out all the time but they're not at the minute but this peg here peg 41 has not been drawn and peg 42 hasn't been drawn so these lads if they go chasing bigger fish they may have a cast over here they might not need to because there's lots of features over there anyway or marks into a fish there they'll just be fishing light elastics i would imagine everybody's getting bites which is the main thing and it's going to be interesting to see how it pans out especially if um if the better fish don't turn up till later on so this is beecher's lake let's go and have a look over on strip lake and find out what's been caught over there we are down on peg two small fish affair yeah but that's part of the plan isn't it yeah there's uh catching plenty of eye uh, i've had one tench well you've had a tench have you yeah a little and, uh, what then two f1s all oh, right how big are your f1s and i had one off far bank Yep. Second chuck. Or did you cast across there with a feeder or something yeah. early on? Right. Yeah, uh, with your uh, bandam on. Keep going, mate. Yeah. Yeah, nice then, mate. Steady away. Keep going, mate. There's no bonus fish caught yet, so oh, that's carry right. on, mate. Mark's on that really short line there. You get a few mark. Ticking over. Good. Still very early days. Let's have a walk down the strip and find out what else has been caught on there. Well, this is Strip Lake. The wind's affecting it differently here. This is Dean in the corner. Strip peg 24. Looks like he's got a good fish on. That was always going to be the danger on this lake is that there might not be as many small eyed. I don't think there is. I don't really know. I've never fished the lake myself. There's always a chance one or two better fish on this lake. So that's a decent fish on the pole, as you can see. Got to give Dean a mention. He fishes with the angling for you guys. Don't you, mate? Yeah. He was here yesterday, but you can't say he was practicing because he was on the other lake. But angling for you, I'm sure a lot of you know the Facebook group and the channel as well, the YouTube channel, Ben Cook and Co. So check that out if you haven't done already. Um, he's got lots of Matrix gear on here, hasn't he? Look at this. I want to make sure he lands this fish. I don't want to put him off. He's got Mick at the next peg. I don't know if Mick's caught. We're going to have a walk down there in a minute just to find out what's been caught. The open match is on here. This is Loco. This is the uh, uh, open, Lindome open match today, and I think they are also on Benny's. Uh, they're well spaced out. You know, the pegging wise, look, there's only two angles on this bank, so... I'm going to get out of Dean's way and uh, let, him, let him net this fish. It's foul up. You think it's foul up, do you? Yeah. There we go, well, he's stripped his... Use the puller bung. Well done, mate, you've landed it, though, whatever it takes. Brilliant. Was it a little F1? Well, not little, but it's uh, an F1. That's a chunky, aren't they? Heavier than what they look. Yeah. Brilliant, well done, mate. Have you got any more of those? Uh, first one. First one, first bite. Yep. Yeah. Where was that? Down the margin? To your left, no, though? just right in front. Straight in front. Lovely, well done, mate. He knows what he's doing. He's a regular. <laughs> any good yet, Mick? I've had some indication. One indication? Yeah. What was that, just on the short pole? Yeah, what, what had happened? caught my net with my hook <laughs> right so when I, I pulled it in my, my bloody float had moved by about eight and a half inches oh right yeah. so you're a different depth got you yeah got you well at least you picked up on it mate that's main thing yeah, at least you knew that what had happened i couldn't understand why my float wasn't settling right <laughs> and i kept adding shot and i thought no nah, there's got to be more shot on there than what that means <laughs> so that i plumbed up again <laughs> took about eight inches off the bloody float went straight under with all the shots on set. because <laughs> <laughs> I should have been here earlier filming, shouldn't I? Yeah. That sounds a bit... Yeah, yeah. This is peg uh, strip 23. Uh, Mick was a little bit upset with this draw this morning. Not because of the peg, but because of the lake. What did you do this morning, Mick? You actually got up early to go to the bait shop, didn't you? <laughs> Have you been to the bait farm? I got up early to go to the maggot farm. Bought two gallons of maggots, thinking I would make drawn beaches for the yard. <laughs> You've drawn on strip. <laughs> <laughs> so if anybody's after a two gallon of maggot, pretty cheap, <laughs> then uh, get in touch with Mick, all right? But uh, he's ditched that short pole now, he's going to go on the uh, on the method feeder by the looks of it. Now on this, like I said, I've only pegged this one bank here today, so that enables them to go further across, which I think is going to be quite important today, especially if it's fishing hard. You know, one or two better fish from that other bank, you know, might be what, uh, what's going to make all the difference today, but there's hardly any wind on this lake as well. So I pegged two, missed one. Peg two, missed one. However, one of the no-shows would have been here. 
So that means that Mr. Naylor, one of my former work colleagues, is now sat here on his own. It looks like he's getting his head down on some hide. Have you had many? Oh, brilliant. Uh, and I've had, I bet I've got a perch in there, pound and a half. <laughs> Some nice skimmers. Uh, oh, you're mixing it up. They didn't a prize for more species, you know. Right, you know I, that, don't you? That, that's what I've gone for. I think I've had one or <laughs> everything up to now. Brilliant. So that's definitely the best catch we've heard of so far. So he's got a carp, five pound, a pound and a half perch. Lord skimmers. All on that, what are you doing now? Yeah, sure. How about that? It just shows you, you know, when you fish for bites, anything can turn up on these, you know, on these venues. And if you if your kit's balanced, then you can land them better fish as well, as long as they're not too big. But yeah, he's had a five pounder and a mixed bag by the sounds of it. So that looks really nice there, mate. Are you on the deck? Yeah. Just that little bit of a ripple on it. Fishing dead on deck. Dead depth. Floats dotted beautifully. Really nice that. I'm gonna edge back from this edge then if that's how you're fishing, mate. Good luck, mate. Definitely best so far that mate. This is Keith Harrison. No, he's not related. Although when you look at the tattle he's got, you might think he is, but there we go. This is the last two pegs down on um, strip. Have you you just had a carp? Yeah, I've had two. Two carp now. Two carp. That was a pull then mate, I saw that. How big are they? One's about six, one's about four. Oh, brilliant mate. That's probably best then up to now that. I've just lost two, I lost two on the pole, got snapped off from this log here. Have you? Yeah. Is there something there's, down there? There's a post here. Oh, we lost. Wrapped, wrapped me around that. Snapped me off, so I threw the feeder out, just went straight round. Whereabouts have you put the feeder? Right underneath that platform. You've gone across, right. I actually landed on the platform first cast. <laughs> well, I like your honesty, that's good. <laughs> Yeah, that, that was always going to be an important part of fishing on here today. Like I say, it doesn't always produce, but when it does, that could be where you get your bonus fish from. And if you're in trouble, you're falling behind and you need one or two better fish, the margins obviously aren't as, tract as attractive on here as what they are on the other lake, but you have obviously, that is a margin over there. So, good luck, mate. Keep going. So, he's got £10 with two fish there. Any signs yet? Nope. No signs? Yeah, I've got a carp and I've got a little one there. Oh, you've got a carp, have you? Yeah, yeah. How big is that? Pound. Oh, brilliant! Hold on, mate. Keep going. It's, uh, it's no one's, no one's doing brilliant. About ten pound is best at the minute. So just keep going, mate. If you've got one, they'll be there in that corner. We actually left this peg out, this corner peg, just because it looks a little bit too tight to the bank. On that peg, you've obviously got open water and you can cast down here. But you see that peg thirteen. It's a little bit too close in. I didn't want it to be too much of a hit and miss peg. So yeah, it's very, very tight now going into that first hour. Well, it's rained every single day this weekend. We've just had a little bit of a shower. We are an hour and a half or so into the match. They're catching the odd fish on the strip. Um, Danny and Mark Deacon on peg one is still putting little fish in the net. Not going mad, not going hectic, but he's catching steady. Um, Shane next to him. He says he can catch on the pole, but he's just casting a method feeder now, right the way across under that other bank. Um, and he's still coming back with small fish. <laughs> little tench. He's catching little tench and hybrids as well, uh, sorry, and hybrids and eyed right the way across as well, so he can't get away from the small fish. However, peg four, that's where Dave is. How many carp have you got, Dave? Three, two? Uh, three. Three carp? Three carp, yeah. Brilliant. A couple of pound a piece, yeah? Yeah. And a couple of other fish? Yeah, yeah. Brilliant, mate. He's just casting a method feeder under that other bank. Looks very inviting there, but it is a little bit tricky. We've got the, there is an overhang there, but you can't really see how far over it comes, so. I'm sure he's having to pick his line quite clearly because there are only certain areas where he can get tight in but I think he'll be doing well with that because I haven't seen many better fish caught. Just on a method feeder, yeah? Yeah. Just what, what are you fishing, like a wafter or something like that? Wafter, yeah. Just an 8 mil wafter. 8 mil wafter. Yeah. Brilliant mate. There's no ripple on it now so it's, it's calm but it's quite mild. Keep going Dave mate, you'll be doing well with that. Keep Nessie's at the next peg. She looks busy catching small fish. She's got her hoods up now. We're back to winter. The weather's not always like this round here, you know, Nessie. <laughs> Are you catching a few? Yeah, these. You can't get it. Oh, tench. <laughs> At least they're pretty tench. fish, aren't they? Wow, no. Well, don't lose that one. Now you've done all the hard work catching it. They're like little bars of soap, aren't they? They are. They're beautiful. They're nice when they're two and three pounds. They're a little bit more inviting well, all then, aren't they? my fish are tiny. They're are really they? big. <laughs> right. But you've been busy, have you? Mm, fairly. Have you, uh, are you feeding down this margin to your left? Have you fed anything there yet? I'm here, but out there I've been catching as well. Have the you? Same fish. 
Are they? Nothing big. Right. Okay, well at least you're putting fish in the net. Nobody's running away with it at the minute. Yeah. Plenty of time yet. Yeah. Stick at it, it's all we can do, isn't it? It's going to be one of those matches. We knew without coming here, we knew that there were going to be loads of little fish and depending on how you're fishing, you might struggle to get away from them. Just coming around here onto the point now. Fuzzer's there, I know he's been catching. Chris Buckley. Are you catching a few, Chris? Just me, yeah, I've had 60 odd silvers and then 60 odd? Yeah, and then I've had uh, a couple of F1s as well, I'm for you, Dipper. Mixing it up then, mate, aren't you? Yeah. Mixing it up. Good all rounder, Chris. But he has been spending a hell of a lot of time on his feeder fishing to the extent where he thinks his pole fishing's been suffering. Yeah. <laughs> he's, a, he's a working lad like most people, so he's finding it difficult juddling. It's hard to be good at everything. You've got to keep on top of your game, but, but he's doing a bit of both today. So he's 60 odd, so he's doing brilliant with that silver fish. And he's got a couple of net fish mixed in, but he's had those on the feeder. Let's have a look where he's casting. He's got open water here, as you can see. The peg over there hasn't been drawn, peg 17, so that's opened it out a little bit, especially from there and to his right. And he's got his short line going as well. Let's see how Fuzz is getting on. That wind's coming right into his face here. But I'm sure that's not going to put him off. He's hardcore. And we'll go around this side. Are you catching Fuzz? I've just come totally shallow. Totally shallow. Totally shallow. No doubt for eyed, I gather. Yeah, I've lost one big fish. Have you? Mm. So what, you got loads of little eyed? Yeah. Good. Just shallow on that line there. Lovely. I gather you've fed these margins. Have you fed them yet down to your left or right or both? Fed the right one. You fed that one. I'm going to stay away from that. There's dad over there. Right, over there. Oh, so, right, okay. So you fed them differently. Brilliant. Good. No one, no one's running away with it, mate. There's not many big fish being caught at all. There's one lad who's got two or three Dave down there, but they're only two pounders, so they're not mega fish. I'll let you keep going, mate. Good luck, mate. Keep going. Not rain keeps coming. We're used to it now. I think it's going to be a really close match today. I don't know if there are going to be any big fish caught, but I think, I've got a funny feeling that if they are, it's going to be later on. And I think just about everybody's going to be feeding a margin line today. So let's see how they're getting on down in this bowl area down here. Any good, Lee? Oh, mate. You're catching a few? Fisher chuck. Fisher chuck? Yeah. Look at that. He doesn't tell us how many he's got. He just says fisher chuck. So if I ask him how many chucks he's had, does that mean it's going to tell us how many fish he's got? Does it work like that? No, it's not like that, don't I? What are you catching, little eyed? Adam? What are you catching, little eyed? Um, big roach. I mean, big nice roach. Well. All oh, right, brilliant. What sort of size are they? A good, a good six ounces every one. Right. Well, they're bigger than the eyed that people are catching, so yeah, that could make I've, a difference. I've had uh, two F ones as well. Right. Looks nice with that bit of a chop on it there, just, yeah. doesn't it? Are you off the bottom? Well, I'm, I, I, it's on the bottom, I get it. You're catching on the deck, are you? Yeah. Well, I think the stamper fish are going to make a big difference today. The dumpy fish, aren't they? Lovely. Good. Well, it's a nice close match, mate. No one's running away with it. I'll let you keep going, mate. We're now in the edge of that bowl now with Heath. What are you catching, Heath? I'm catching tench. A hide and some roach. Right, mixing it up then. Yeah, Mixed up, bag. Yeah, up to about six inch long. Right, lovely. Nice and busy then, eh? Yeah, with plenty coming in. Good. Not been down your margins or anything yet, have you? No, not yet. No. Oh, saving that. Saving that for later. Yeah. Just keep putting them in the net, mate. That was a bite, wasn't it? Here we go. Just watch him land this one. Looks a decent. Well. Probably could be a five, six ounce fish, maybe this one. Well, we've had the uh, been out on feeder as well. Oh, have you? Nothing on that? Yeah, I've had a couple of small tench on All that. right. No big proper bonus fish yet, another little tench? No, this is these sizes that they're coming in at. Yeah, they're all right. They keep coming, mate. Beautiful looking fish, aren't they? Yeah, these are. Beautiful fish. Yeah, lovely. All right, keep going, mate. Keep putting them in the net. That's the main thing. That wind's still blowing down here in towards peg 12 and I've got to admit that really looks inviting. That's where, where Mark is there. If this wind carries on like this, you've got to fancy that margin here later on. He's not had any better fish yet. He's had plenty of small fish short. Chris is over there, Chris Buckley, we've just... Oh no, that's, uh, that's Lee. Chris is up there, looks like he's playing one on the feeder possibly. Um, but yeah, this corner looks brilliant for later on. Especially with this, this peg being out. 
In fact, while I'm here now, Mark's just cast his method feeder, he's put the pole down, cast a method feeder just down towards his left into this bowl bit. Slightly better stamp fish, couldn't tell if it was an F1. Um, looks like it, but certainly a better stamp fish. So, I mean, with this wind blowing in like this, an area like that, you'd honestly expect that to only get better. Just behind Tony Chandler now, on pig 14. Lied. He's um, catching with lied. He doesn't think he's catching quick enough, but they're all right there. But he has had a bonus 12 ounce tench, which is the biggest tench I've heard caught up to now. Feels a little bit more sheltered here. These are the sheltered pegs. This is where they requested the wind off, off their backs or over the shoulder. Matt's been up all night working, so uh, he's. Uh, I thought he would have been on cans of Red Bull and things like that, but uh, I think he's, uh, he's used to it now, aren't you, mate? Pinging pellets. Not many people pinging pellets out there now, interestingly enough. Quite a few people got pellet wagglers set up, but not many people are feeding it very often. Matt knows his pellet waggler fishing, so uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens when he goes on that. Well, we're here back, back behind Mr. Mr. Miller. He didn't get any more signs on the cast and cross there with the feeder, believe it or not. He just lost those two fish, never had another sign on it, which is typical. He's gone on his long pole line and he's just catching eyed. He's just hooked this fish, this looks slightly different. Giving him a bit of a run round. This might be a little tench or something, this one. Or an F1. Definitely a better stamp fish. He's got that lovely looking island over there. Is it an F1? Looks like it. Well done mate, good bonus fish then today. Yeah on the deck by the looks of it, fishing on the bottom, but he obviously can go back on the uh, on the feeder. It's really close to be honest, some lads are just getting their heads down on the ride. Very few bonus fish being caught, I've just heard one's been caught over the other side of the island, which is where I'm going next. But yeah, keep going Mark, well done mate. Up this end, it's a little bit more sheltered from the wind. Uh, this is where the overhanging bushes are here. Are we getting on, any good? Here's your man, yeah. What you got? An F1 and loads of eyes, mate. F1 and loads of eyes, you still, you're going for eyes method feeder cup? Yeah. Yeah, have you any signs of any better fish? No. No, no, no. I was getting, I've gone long. Yeah. Eyed, come short, that's where I caught my F1. Yeah. Tips going round like Billy O. Yeah. You're not catching them. Right. And then when you do catch them, it's a bloody eye. We lied. Yeah. Lots of them, isn't so there? So, I've just in the past two casts, I've just gone over there, and the same thing's happening with me, me rods. They've just gone straight to it? Yeah, me rods just going round, but... Yeah, it's one of the matches where if you're going to go for ride, you've got to go for ride, and if you don't want ride, you've got to find a way of uh, yeah, I think I'm repelling them. Playing the uh, that looks long game, I think. Yeah, that looks nice over there. It's yeah. still early, mate, them better fish. Nobody's catching better fish, mate. Nobody's catching better fish, so... Just keep going. You are, everybody's still in it. Even even John's still in it, aren't you, John? Peg 10 doing. Peg 10? I don't know who's on peg 10. Look at that, he's talking to me and... Is that an eyed? Probably. <laughs> no. Method feeder eyed. Uh, peg, peg 10's catching eyed. That's about it. Just like everybody else. That's not an eyed. No way is that an eyed. If it is, it's a record. He wants me to stay here all day now, don't you? <laughs> some people hate. Some people hate it with a camera, but other people uh, it seems to bring them luck. So look at this one then. Oh, it looked nice where you put that, just a bit, just off that other bank, off yeah, them features. I've been, I've been pinging eight mils across. Oh, you're pinging as well, right? Yeah, just uh, while I'm not on it. Yep. Just keeping it simple, really. It's getting bigger this fish, the more you play it. There you go, nice chunky fish. We well go. done mate. Hard to get hold of the bonuses today. That's it. Just walking around up to this top end now, up to this bay up on peg 25. Looks like Jess playing one there. He's next to Dave and Gary. Uh, I think one of those lads has caught a decent fish. But Jess playing one now looks a good fish. Lovely looking area this. Just this bay has been obviously not drawn, but one of the pegs was left out anyway, so looks really, really nice. Jeff's on his feet, looks like a proper fish.
Well, that's a beautiful fish what Jeff's just had. Judging by the comments, however, that I've just heard from around him, um, I think it is his first fish. So let's find out what these lads have caught at the back end of this island. Right, we're re right around the back end of the island now. Peg 29, 28, 29. Behind Mr. Mason. Dave Buller's there, Jeff's on the end. Dave's moaning because he can only catch a fish every chuck. I don't quite know how he's going to improve on that unless he double looks it. Gary's here, catching eyed. That's a good stamp. Is that a roach? Eyed. Good stamp. But he has been breaking poles. What have you done, mate? Have you had one break you? Yeah, yeah. I've had a big, proper lump, bottom out the elastic and snapped the fourth section. Wonderful. Straight enough. Did you get any sympathy from the next peg? Uh, laughed. <laughs> right, OK, there we go. Who needs enemies when you've got mates like that, eh? Is that, did you hook that up on what you're fishing there, on that? Yeah, on this, yeah. Right, okay. Have you got any bonus fish then, Gary? Uh, I've just got uh, about a pound carp. Pound carp, and how many eyed you got then? How many fish uh, like that? Probably about 40 now. 40, brilliant. It's proving very, very close, and that's exactly what we wanted on this lake. Big fish are gonna make a big difference, but what I have noticed is that the bonus fish are really coming to people who aren't necessarily fishing for them. They're just hooking them on the on an eyed rig or whatever, so that's going to be um, it's going to be interesting. That I mean, whether they feed later on, I don't know, but um, these are very important in the minute. They're averaging about four to the pound, so when people are giving us some figures, we've got an idea of what sort of weight they might have. But yeah, keep going, lads. Keep going. Keep laughing. Keep smiling. Well, we're two hours in now, and without going down to this bottom end of the lake it's a little bit difficult to call at the moment because a lot of people are just kind of going on the numbers of eyed and in our experience they are about four to the pound so i think a lot of people it sounds like quite a few people have got that sort of eight to ten pound of eyed that's just based on the four to the pound kind of size and that's without bonus fish so i'd say eight to ten pounds um in the top you know five in this on this particular lake so far that big cart what jeff's just got that was probably eight pound on its own and um, so he's got a couple of other, other fish and about 20 eyed so he's doing really really well up in that top corner everywhere i look there's people swinging small eyed in it could be a late show as regards the big fish and i think some people are getting plagued by the small fish they're trying to catch bigger fish they're not feeding really, really confidently, you know, like big potting pellets or corning. They're kind of fishing, trying to fish with soft pellets and pellets, smaller pellets, and the eyed are just mopping everything up no matter where they're feeding in the swim. So the lads that can work that out, personally, I think, you know, if they're a little bit more aggressive, certainly on a margin line, I think that might be the way to go, albeit later on in the match. But everywhere we look, this is back round on, on the point. He's still catching short by the looks of it yeah feeding quite heavily one or two lads fishing with the waggler but yeah we are just over two hours in and uh, we're starting to see one or two people making one or two decisions to change their game you're 35 aren't you your peg not your age how about that then <laughs> rob's got his head down he's got 84 eyed <laughs> but i don't think he's going to win anything for biggest fish is he are you going to count that? Is that 85? <laughs> he's not counting that one. He's now got 84. He's just got his head down on those eyes. So he's got the biggest number of eyes so far. Well, we're here with Lee, just as we're coming up to halfway stage. How's it going, mate? Uh, battering the eye. You're battering the eye? Yeah, I've had about 30 old pound of eye, I would imagine, by now. Have you? <clears throat> yeah, fantastic. On that short line, it's just been absolutely battered. Them. If you've got just that, gone a bit funny now, though. Well, you must. I, I don't know how many fish you've got. Uh, do you have you counted your fish now? I haven't, mate. No, it, it's a guess that, but it's probably not far. Well, off. you're way in front with that, mate. I'll be honest with you. If you've got thirty pound, you're, in, you're in front. I mean, Rob Marsh over to your right. He's uh, he's over there. He's uh, he had eighty four just when I walked past, but he hasn't got any bonus fish to go with it. But depending on the size of them but I mean if you've got 30 pound of them you definitely do it best they're hardly any carp caught mate so right. Lee's feeding quite heavy like we said I've gone through about three pints already have you <laughs> well there we go we're halfway through the match he's fed about three pints of maggots already so are you off the deck there well I've just been having a go they have come up but have they yeah it's been better to fish on deck has it right yeah, that's interesting feed it heavy although they're coming up yeah 
just just fishing it heavy still more bites and better bites on the bottom yeah that's interesting that so they are coming up but he's having to feed them uh feed them heavy but still catch you know it's better to catch on the bottom so yeah. brilliant mate well you're doing fantastic with that weight mate like i said there's hardly any bonus fish caught so Blimey. you'll be way in front with that mate good <laughs> keep at it mate keep at it keep going Cheers, Jamie. Well, that's a fantastic weight. I mean, it's bang on halfway now. I didn't know he'd caught that many. I saw him early on, he wasn't catching that well. He's obviously gone onto a short line that he's built up and they've obviously settled there or they've been much more confident and that's allowed him to put a good weight in the net. So if he's got 30 pound Lee, Wadsworth has got to be in front with that weight on this lake anyway, unless these lads in these early pegs have caught, but that's a fantastic weight at the halfway stage without a bonus. We're round on peg one now, back with uh, Mr. Mark Deacon. He's on his short line. You had a cast on the pellet weight, uh, pellet, was it bomb and pellet? Bomb and pellet, he had one, uh, one F1 about three pound. Great bonus fish today. But then his next cast, you got an eyed, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> there we go, so he's gone one back. Pellet. But, uh, but then he's gone back on, uh, back on the short line. There's loads of eyed there. He's getting a bite every single cast from him, but I think you're a bit concerned about the size of him, aren't you? That looks like it's got a tench. No, nope. I thought that one of them little tiny tench. I've had a few of them. They are small, though, then, mate. A lot of the ones we've seen have been three and four ounce, and they're not obviously that are they? So, but he's putting fish in the net. Um, just around the corner, when I walked around earlier, the most fish around there was um, Chris Buckley. He was admitting to 50 strokes, 60 fish which you know at the four to the pound sort of size is I don't know, eight pound ish to eight to ten pound depending um i don't know how many marks got but we've just heard that lee wadsworth around there he's just to let you know mark he's admitting to 30 pound divide yeah. okay he's catching short so um he's not counted his fish so i don't know how many fish that is maybe he's caught a better stamp or maybe he's just got a hell of a lot of them i don't know but he's on that line now and he's, it looks like he's getting his head down on that until that latter stage when he's going to have a look for a carp or something down his left hand margin. See Mark's catching, you know, every cast that looks a slightly better one. If you just saw, if, even if the fish are an ounce bigger or two ounce bigger, if you're catching that many, it's going to make a big difference over five hours. I'm going to leave you to it, mate. Good luck, mate. Keep going. Let's have a look what's happening over on Strip. I haven't heard anything about this lake over the last... Uh, last hour or so but by far the best weight over here on beaches is is 30 pounds so we'll find out what's happening over here well, we're back on strip and Luke's into a nice fish. Oh, well done, mate. Well done, pal. Oh, you get is that? Have you had some more than that? You've had five of them. Yeah. Oh, brilliant, mate. On that short pole line. Yeah. Brilliant. It's fishing hard. Well, it's fishing hard just there. Uh, Dean on the first peg. Uh, we saw catch that little that carp early on or F1. Uh, he's had one other skimmer and that's it. Mick on his right has only got two fish. Um, so they're really they're they're the only bites that they've had. Luke's in the middle of the bank, um, and we've heard the catch of one or two down here. But look at that proper fish. Well done, mate. Make sure he goes it in there. In. <laughs> so if Luke's got Please. five of them plus all the other fish, five of them, a five pound, four or five pound carp, and I reckon twenty pound in over now up to now. <sighs> well, there about. Well, Luke's winning the match so far with that, unless someone down here has caught more than that. At this stage, it's just gone over halfway. £30 was the best weight so far over on beaches. So Luke's definitely winning this at the moment. And he is fishing a short line, don't forget. So as we all know, the short lines can come, get stronger and stronger as the day goes on. Um, as we approach this final two hours. So I'm going to let him get his head down. He's only fishing short. Look at that. What a way you're fishing. Well, flick a few maggots in. Looks so simple, doesn't it? <laughs> Good luck mate, keep going. Uh, we're just here, two pegs to the right of Luke um, on strip. And what you got now Andy, sorry? Um, I've got three F1s, probably about 10 or 12 skimmers. Right, okay. Oh, I've, had a, I've had a tench as well. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> Mixing it up. Yeah. All on that, on that line there? All on that line, yeah. Yeah, looks like a really strong line that today. 
they don't be that much caught to be honest um, Andy so just keep going mate and bonus fish will be a, a mega thing today yeah, so we're going to make a big difference have anything on the reeds over there uh, what on the feeder over there you've not, there. not had anything not a touch no you think that would be the place to go wouldn't you lots of liners so oh, there's, right. there's fish around so there's fish around and up in the yeah. water maybe yeah yeah just keep going mate keep going are you catching no struggling about 10 pounds all right is that a lot of fish or no not really right no. so you've had some better fish one or two no, better no, fish yeah, have you? just f1s i know car right um i just seem to get one f1 on whatever method i try and then that's it right got you no bitten have they caught much to your right uh my knee is empty isn't it? oh keith on the next peg is he some months is out right just keep going Aaron mate, oh, yeah, well, we'll keep going mate and now back at Keith, we've heard Keith's had a few come on then, I've heard what other people have said you've got now you've got to be honest with me and tell me what you've got or not honest 28 28 what? Pound, I 28 pound? I've been smashed up big style on summer big have you? lost a lot yeah right so are you getting some indications? yeah I've, um, I've got 28 pound a carp I right reckon, and about eight pound a bit right brilliant you're doing well with that then mate it's, you're in uh, top two in match mate with that top two in the match between you and luke at the I moment then. having to go into a bigger feeder to put more feed in more feed i put in the quicker the bites oh that's interesting right right all, all your fish come on that on feeder better than pole um i've had yeah i've had a lot i've got a perch about two pound <laughs> You want to see the size of the damn thing? Specimen, what have you been doing? Been drop shotting. Huh? Been drop shotting for that. He's he spinning for a bit. <laughs> well. Obviously, casting across. Really tight. How tidy that, mate. Really tight across. Brilliant. Well, keep going, mate. No one's running away. You didn't top two in match with that, mate. So I'll let you carry on. Keep going. Well, it's very interesting at this stage, you know, there's two hours left now. Um, Lee Wadsworth sounds like he's doing the best on Ida over on beaches. And then we've got the lads here on strip. I mean, it's noticeable. I haven't seen everybody cast a feeder in on strip, but Keith is definitely fishing the tightest to the bank. Um, and maybe he's just built up that spot. He's um, He's got a decent weight. So on here, it sounds like it's between him and Luke at the moment. But to be honest, they could be first and second in the match as well, depending on the size of their fish. So that's how it's standing at the minute. It's between Luke, Keith Harrison here on strip, and then the leading contender at the moment is Lee Wadsworth over on beaches. However, there are quite a few people now. They realise that they are way behind on Ide. They realise that they can't catch up with Ide because the lads that have got their heads down on them have gone just way too far in front. So there are more people going for carp now and better fish. And as we all know, the second period of a match, certainly the last two hours, can be the best time to catch them. So it's still pretty wide open. Well, because we've had so many get-togethers like this now, inevitably a lot of the lads get to know each other and it's really, really nice that on these sessions they're all very much um, friendly occasions, very sociable, and a lot of the lads are even teaming up together to stay in digs and stuff when we've got matches and um, get-togethers and group coaching days like this, and that's something that I never really expected. One of the things that has started happening is that quite a few of the lads tend to try and look after each other. How about this? Tony Chandler and his daughter Nikki have kindly brought these along for everybody even with the patron TV logo look at those beautiful cakes she owns and runs Sweet Temptations they have got a Facebook page and it's Nikki French there and they've brought us cakes and all sorts of things so everybody today has got one of these lovely cupcakes they've had one before the start there's some there afterwards as well so big shout out to them for that um, I haven't had one yet I'm really looking forward to those so I'm sure a few anglers will be ready for a second or even third one and Martin Fuzz Farrow has kindly even brought along some of this now this is um, obviously a lot of the videos that I do is based around feeder fishing inevitably feeder fishing generally tends to mean a lot of bream fishing and with bream fishing comes worms and worm fishing Fuzz has even kindly brought along some of his special worm food there are certain things you can feed worms on that just boost the way that they grow you know their growth rate and they um, and he's been breeding worms for quite a long time now many years and this is one of the ingredients that he feeds them on and he kindly brought along a big box full like that for everyone obviously free to give away so that they can have a go at breeding their own worms and these are just the really nice things that the lads do on these days and that's why we're going to keep on running them we've got two more 
later on in the year coming from different venues so i will be filming those for you so there are 90 minutes left let's go and find out what's been happening on the lakes well, we're back over on peg five now there's uh, not long left we're back over here with with nessie there we go look at that oh it's absolutely beautiful up against that just come away from that bank a little bit are oh, you catching loads of hide yeah a little eye just one bonus did you say one bonus f1 yes just one. how big's that oh. pound pound fish yeah, the eider yeah, everywhere good pound. right good there's not much in it there's not many bonus fish caught so just one bonus fish will make a massive difference um yeah still eyed there right in front of these reeds here yeah is that on corn as well? Yeah. Yeah, there's no getting away from them. They're just attacking everything, aren't they? Keeping some feed going in down that margin. This can be the best time for the margin anyway. Looks like Lee's still catching the odd fish. Dad's struggling a little bit. Gonna have a walk around this top end and just find out if there's been any bonus fish caught. That's gonna be the the key. The key now. I think I think a lot of the yeah, I think a lot of the eyed anglers are gonna continue fishing for eyed because they're obviously learning that there aren't many bonus fish being caught. However, the anglers who have been targeting bonus fish have fallen behind on Eyde, so they're going to fish for carp even more. <laughs> um, so it's going to be an interesting... Nessie just turned away, then an elastic came out. She didn't say anything. <laughs> I just saw that little bit of green elastic coming out. That works itself. You don't need to strike. You've obviously got that rig working just right. But yeah, they are. it's a long way to go out there for a little fish like that when you're after a bonus, but... It's an extra few ounces in the net. In the That's it. Keep dropping them in the net. Then they can, they'll go with those two or three big carp you're going to catch later on. Good luck. Carry on. Well, the sun's trying to come out again now, so uh, that'll obviously make it a little bit more pleasant. But everybody's getting bites, no matter where they're feeding. Even down the margins, the eyed are attacking it. Eyed, eyed, eyed. Let's see how these lads are going on. We're just coming around to Fuzz now. Fuzz is playing a fish. Fuzz lost two earlier, they're actually busting, they broke him. I'll have a word with Chris in a moment, he looks like he's back on his eyed line. He had 50 to 60 fish early on that he was admitting to. So it'll be interesting to hear what weight he's got. Fuzz is here now. There he goes, oh look it's an F1. Oh look, I knew it was an F1 straight away. There we go. Have you had many more? <clears throat> You've had three F1s like that have you? And loads of hide. Even down the edge of Yeah, everywhere, aren't they? And you've lost those two fish. You've lost those two fish that bust you. Oh, keep them going, mate. There's not much in it for us, to be honest, mate. There's very few big fish caught, if any. Big, big fish. Just keep going, mate. They're alright, them, if they keep coming, aren't they? Yeah. And we've seen what he's putting on the hook, we can see. Brand new pellets. Brand new pellets. <laughs> That's it, and he's uh, he's gone flat calm as well now. That might uh, that might make a make a difference, but we'll let him get his head down. Keep going, fuzz, mate. It's nice and tight at the moment. Here we are, round to Chris now. Oh, he's down the margin. Even though he swung uh, swung an eye in, he's actually down the margin. This must be his second mar margin eye line. Yeah, I think it probably will be. I've been just seeing what I've just first put in a tiny little eye again. Oh, was that your first drop in down your margin? Yeah. Oh, there we yeah. go. And that was an eyed again. So the eyed are plaguing you down there, are they? Oh, well, it looks like it. <laughs> Did you get any more on the feeder, mate? Watch the feeder yeah, situation I've with the bonus a, fish. Um, I've had eight F1s on the feeder. Eight? Uh, yeah. Are they all what? Pound, pound and a half fish? Pound and a half, I'd say, yeah. And how many eyed have you got now? Uh, have you stopped counting? 98. So. 98? Yeah. But I don't, they're not going to weigh a great deal, are they? So they are they fought at pound? I think so, yeah. Probably. Right. So you've probably got 25 pound there. All right. 25 pounds, so he's right up there. Yeah, yeah. He's got 30 pound plus, so that's putting Chris right up there now. I mean, when we left Lee, Lee was admitting to 30 pound divide, but that's when we left him. That was a good half hour, 45 minutes ago now, so uh, I dare say he's still catching, so it's going to be very, very tight with these lads. But like I say, these late bonus fish are going to be key, and as Chris is, Chris is proving, Small fish are a problem down that line as well. That's on a six mil pellet, is it? There we go, look, there we go. 
It's not even a bigger ride, is it? <laughs> Good luck, mate. Keep going. Well, it's quite obvious at the moment that those people that were catching ride have kind of slowed down. The fish have gone a little bit, a little bit iffy. Obviously, <laughs> a lot of them are in people's nets now. They've been having a bit of a thumping, uh, and that's what happens. So this is going to be even more interesting now because what's going to happen is that because they're not catching like they were. They're obviously going to make the decision whether they're going to carry on with those eyes and just catch whatever they can, you know, albeit slower than they were catching, or are they going to start looking for carp and bigger fish? Um, I'm over here on the left hand bank as you look at it. Um, Tony's into another fish, Tony Chandler. I've just looked across there at Rob Marsh. Now, that's Rob over there where he was admitting to 84 fish, and that's over an hour ago. 84 eyed fishing on top kit plus two. However, I'm looking across there now and he's got the long pole out. So, that would normally suggest that his eyed line has dried up. He's had to go out longer to stay in touch with them. I don't think he's going to be out there for bigger fish. I'll be surprised if he is, and when I get around there, I will ask him because he is feeding his left-hand margin for better fish. So um, he was one of the leaders back then, but that would suggest that things have slowed down for him. Um, however, at the moment, there's still the odd um, eyed coming out. Tony's obviously still catching one or two fish. And we're starting to see one or two changes now. Quite a few people, probably half the field now, are going down the margins. However, I would like to say that probably 100% of those people are all struggling with eyed down the margins. So whether that's going to change, I don't know. They might have to change the way they're feeding or where they're feeding. But um, I can see one or two people now wishing they hadn't looked down that margin because when they've gone back to the eyed line, the fish have gone or it's not as good as it was. So I know already there's one or two people kicking themselves. And while I'm talking to you about Rob Marsh, he's just hooked into a better fish. I'm round on peg 17 now. That wind's dropped a little bit, the rain's coming back. No bonus fish caught by Tony and Matt just there. However, Paul's here. Any good, Paul? No, not really. No? I've had a couple of skimmers, just putting in maggots, but... All right. If I put in pellets, I get just the eyes of attacking me. Right. A couple of F ones, only small ones though, and a couple of skimmers, so it's a bit changed, really. Have you had any bonus fish down this margin? No, there's not. Every time I go over there, I get eyes. Eyes? What have I put on? Yeah. They're uh, attacking everybody's bait wherever they're yeah. feeding at the minute. Yeah. Well, hopefully you're going to get a visit down. I mean, that looks beautiful down there, well, doesn't it? it? I'm going to concentrate on it soon. It's yeah, it's now. getting to that time, isn't it? Yeah. Good luck, mate. We're up in this top corner now with, we're behind uh, John. Um, also says he might have 15 pound, but he's just getting played with eyed on the method feeder. Um, but John's here, he's fishing a waggler, a lovely straight. Oh no, it's an insert waggler. Full depth by the looks of it. Two or three shots down, slow set, get that out. Beautiful sail away. Absolute fantastic fishing. I don't do this enough. I'm definitely going to be doing more of this this year. And he's catching eyed, as you'd expect. He's caught his first ever tench. So he says no matter what happens today, it's been, uh, he's going home happy. His first ever tench and just loads and loads of eyed. But what a lovely way of fishing. Just flicking a few maggots or you John. Flicking a few maggots, mate. Just Single maggot on the hook. Single maggot, just because it's faster. Yeah. Uh, and the taking it, you know, there's no point messing about. Um, Good. Them two F1s I've had to both be on single maggot. Oh, you've got two F1s as well, yeah. yeah Feel about them. F1s on about three pound, I say that's a bit biggest one I've had. Is that just an 11 foot float rod? 11 foot. 11 yeah. foot waggler. Beautiful. He's only fishing. Look how close he's fishing. Look at that. Feeding confidently, but we've seen that. The lads that are feeding more, keeping the fish in the peg longer. His float went into the middle of the feed there, but the hook bait went behind it, so that's dropping back at the back side of that feed. You can just see that lovely against that background. That's definitely got to go, John. It's got to. There we go. Oh, he's missed it. What a fantastic way of fishing. I'll let you carry on, John. Keep going, mate. Well, here at the top end again, Jeff's had, that's Jeff who's got a carp about eight, nine pound. He's had an F1 about three pound to go with that, but he has got some eyed as well, so he'll be doing okay. Um, Dave Bull has not had another bonus fish or anything, but he's still catching small fish on the pole. There we go. About six meters, five or six meters, steady away. Pulled out of that one, but there's still loads and loads there. 
Gary at the next peg, as you can see, has gone long down his left hand margin, right round there. So, any signs down there yet, Gary? No, nothing. No? That's good though, no hide? No, just, oh. uh, it's getting knocked about, but... But you're not getting played with hide? No. Good, that's what hide want makes, it means that at least a better fish might have a chance of getting to it. Good, keep going mate. We're back here on the point now, in these lighter stages. Lots of people slowed down now, that's uh, Lee Wadsworth just swinging a very small hide in. He's the one that said, you know, he was admitted to £30, that's about an hour ago. Uh, it looks like he's still on that line. A lot of people slowed down now and I don't really think most of the reason for that is because the fish has slowed down. I think it's because they're, they're going chasing better fish, they're going down the margins with bigger baits. And to be honest, I haven't seen anybody achieve yet what they want to achieve. They're going down the margins, they're either not getting a bite or they're getting loads and loads of hides still. Um, this is Rob, Rob's been doing really well. Rob went longer when I saw him on the other bank. And it looks like he's getting a better stamp of fish. I don't know how many fish he's had. That looks a better fish long. He's got a toss pot on the end of that, so I'm assuming he's just potting in. It could be pellets or corn. Let's have a look what he's got. He had lots and lots of hide earlier. He had 80 odd hide earlier. Let's see what this is. It's like a little left one. A chunky little fish. I don't know how many of those he's got, but obviously to go with his 80 odd 90 hide or whatever, it's going to be a good weight. Are you getting on, Stephen? Are you good, mate? Slow. slow. Is it slow? Yeah. What you got? Bits and bats? Yeah. <laughs> Any bonus fish? No. No. Right. Nothing. What have you got on there? A feeder? Are you fishing a feeder no, or is no, it a bomb? Method. No, with um, wafter. Wafter? Yeah. With a proper fish? Yeah, but the only thing I can catch on there is like a little tension, that's about it. Oh, right. <laughs> Were you fishing just in the middle? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They'll come, mate. This last period. Have you tried your margins yet? No. no. Not yet. They'll come good, mate. They'll come good. How many fish have you had like that, Rob? Are you, Jimmy? How many fish have you had like that? Uh, three. I've three? Lost, I've lost three. Have you? Yeah. Well, have you lost them? You think they were foul looks, foul maybe? Up, yeah, foul up too. Are you fishing on the deck, are you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, one, one took it shallow, but it weren't. Yeah. Didn't stay on. Did you did your eye line dry up? Is that why you've gone out there? Yeah. Or not? yeah. 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 It slowed right down. Okay. Well, that was part of your plan, wasn't it? Yeah. Catch as many as you could on that short line. How many did you end up with when you came I off it? Do you know. 80, 88. 88. So you've got 88 and those three net fish on that line. I don't know if I've turned up with that, it's just odd ones, you know what I mean? Yeah. But you've still got your margins fed, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, I'm keep, keep putting, putting for them. Brilliant. You're still right in it, mate, right in it with that. So he's had three out there, but he's lost three. I mean, that's one of the things that happens, you know, when you've got a fish on the deck on places like this. If there's fish swimming about, you know, you do run the risk of foul-looking fish, and that's obviously what's happened. So he's had 88 hide, but he's got those three net fish, so that puts him on a decent weight as well. Has it got any better, Philip? Oh, that's <laughs> what's left of me rig. We know what that means, don't we? Where did you hook that? Out there. I just did you? Pellet. You trashed your rig and lost the fish. Yeah, it just, it just pinged back and must have hit me pole. Right. It's driving float. <laughs> well, this is the best time to get a mate, and that's a beautiful looking margin, as you can see. I mean, that looks nice. Yeah, the nice. next peg there, where that tree is, has been left out, and then my dad's the other side of that, so we've got a lovely long margin. So, uh, if some better fish are going to feed you, you'd expect it to be on a peg like that. Just got down here, is that another ride, that Lee? Tench. Tench? Not you. You still catching? Yeah. Still ticking over nice. Had a, a couple of funny spells, but it's probably the best it's been. <laughs> really? Yeah. Just got stronger, has it? Yeah. Must have got a good weight now, then, eh? Yeah, I've, I've, well. Probably hard to tell I get, with that number of fish you've got now. Difficult. I've had over 200 fish. Have you? Yeah. You got 60 pounds, 50 pounds? Mm, probably. 50 you must have got 50 yeah. if you had 30 before. I would have thought so. Still feeding confidently, as you can see. Two lots. Look at that. I came off that one, but it's going to happen. If there's a lot of fish I've there. Had a load in grass as well. Have you? <laughs> They've just come off. No bonus fish? No. Right. No, not really. Feeding really confident, look how quick it, I mean he's feeding that amount, but look how quick those bites are coming as well. It just shows you how many fish there are in this lake, you know, and if you're going to target them, you've got to, that's what you've got to do, set your stall out. 
However, it's always a risk because if those bigger fish do feed, which I'm sure Lee is hoping they don't, unless they're down his left hand margin, um, then you do run the risk, you know, because you know we've already seen one fish probably eight, nine pound. It doesn't take many of them to get 50 pound, does it? So, um, so I don't know what his plan is, I'm going to leave him to it. Um, I think he's going to carry on doing what he's doing, I think. And we'll have a quick look after. You're going to have a quick look? You've, you've down, down to your left? Uh, I've had a go down my left already. Have you? But uh, ended up snagged on a big root. All oh, right, so you're going to go down your right, down this margin here. Yeah, I'm going to have a go down yeah. here. I'll let you get your head down. Keep going, mate. Yeah, he's got to be winning this now. He'd probably winning the match, unless something's happened over on Strip, but he's definitely winning this lake. As I look over there, Rob on the point, who's gone long now, who's got the 80 odd um, fish. Looks like he's got another fish long, but it doesn't look very big, that. It's probably a small F1, I think. Definitely got Lee down as winning this up to now. I've just sat down behind Dad and he's been struggling, but he's casting this method feeder down this margin. Getting little indications, probably eyed again, you know, having to go at the bait. But he's just gone into one now. Feels a slightly better fish, trying to get underneath his margin. Don't know fight these fish. We've been here this week catching these. Oh, look at that, Jimmy. Oh, it's just wrapped. No, it's wrapped round it. It's wrapped round it, Dad. You're all right. That does count. <laughs> Not foul looks, it's in its mouth, but it's just got caught round its fin. I might have brought him a bit of luck. He has been struggling, but like I say, he's been fishing down this lovely looking margin. With a method feeder. So hopefully one or two fish have turned up down there. Well, there's 50 minutes left now. Here we are back down at the early pegs. The aerator's still on. I don't know if Mark's still catching. Looks like he's still on his short line. Looks like a decent fish getting netted over there. Um, it looks like Lee's still winning it now on this lake. I mean, he must have. Looks like a decent fish. There's one or two slightly better fish coming out now. Not big fish, just, you know, pound and a half fish, pound, pound and a half. That could be a combination of it. You know, it could be the time of day or it could be the fact that more people are fishing for those fish now okay so that's really going to wake things up now there's 50 minutes left sounds like lee's still winning the match with about 50 pound it's a little bit hard to tell but he's admitting to 200 fish which is absolutely fantastic especially with still an hour to go he hasn't had any bonus fish he keeps trying it but lee's in that position where i've told him he's basically winning the match so he still wants to try his short line but he's in that you know he's got that match management decision to make does he bother going for those better fish or does he just believe what i've said and just get his head down and try and get even extra eyed in his net because obviously you know the fish are still there so he's just had a quick look down his margin but i think he did he did what i was hoping he was going to do and that is he was only down there for probably three four minutes um didn't get carried away with it he ditched it refed it and then he's gone back on his eyed so he's gone back to catching eyed mark's just put a little f1 in the net there um don't know how he's caught that but we'll have a quick word with him so it's going to be interesting i keep saying this and that's because yes there's a lot of people that are a lot of fish behind but when the fish are four to the pound one double figure carp or an eight pounder is going to cancel 50 fish out quite easily so uh that's the decision a lot of people are now having to make. How's it going, Mark? What was that little F1? Yeah. Well, not little, but yeah, good. Had, I've had a couple down the edge, but... Have you down this right-hand margin? Yeah, couple of F1s, were they? Just uh, lost my rig, so... <laughs> Come back here for a minute. Oh, you've lost your rig, have you? Yeah, but I've just had an F1 here, so... Yeah. I'm thinking if they're there, and I just... Well, it's not far, is it? Sort of, uh, the way over the bit, Yeah. You know. I bet is the depth different, different from that? Not much. About the same, yeah. He's just got that set lovely. He's got quite a bit of bubbles and bits of all sorts on the surface there, but he's got his float dotted down nice. Look, the fish are still there. I bet you've gone through quite a bit of bait, haven't you, Mark? Yeah, a couple of pints, three pints. A couple of pints, two or three pints of maggots. Yeah. The great thing is everybody's getting bites, and that's what we wanted on this match. I think there's going to be a few people kicking themselves, but it depends what happens in this last 50 minutes. If some better fish feed, then um, obviously a lot of things could change. 
he primed this margin line, he was talking about it earlier and he's hooked one I just saw him catch that one fish while I was opposite that's looking pretty solid to me that but he had that fish, what we saw on the other bank he's turned it away or has he? had that fish probably a pound and a quarter, pound and a half what we saw him catch on the other bank this is peg two as you can see he's got those bull rushes down to his right, those reeds I don't know if he's turned it it's looking like he has a little bit hard to tell at the minute, I'm not sure what elastic that is he's got in there but hopefully he's still attached to that fish, the reeds are moving, he has, he's pulled it out, well done mate he's turned it away, that's great these fish are going to be so important now in this later stage even if it's only a couple of pound but this looks bigger than that, the way it's fighting anyway like I said, I don't know what elastic he's got in but hopefully he's going to net this you know, a single fish can cancel out 20, 30, 40 fish and that's not even a mega fish yeah, it is a good fish this one it looks ideal down there but there are other pegs on here that look like that but people are struggling with the hide so I think feeding is very important on this obviously it might depend on the peg as well but just what you feed, you want, you want to feed something that those eyes aren't going to mop up you've got to be really selective now I'm not sure what he's feeding, I'm not going to ask him until afterwards but just make sure he gets this fish in the net Mark down there still catching eyed as you can see he's back on his short line just keep ploughing away with those fish and he's obviously hoping that the odd F1 is going to come along as well I don't know what gear he's got on if he hooks a really big fish I don't know if he'll land it on that tackle it's possibly a bit too light for that but obviously the F1s you can you can land them on that relatively light tackle because they're not too big he's going on another run now he's having to add sections he'd stripped that elastic right back and now it's gone he's just added that extra section on he's let the, all of the elastic back into the pole again now it's obviously a bigger fish than what we thought See, he's got him on the top. His mouth's not open, but he's got him. Brilliant, well done, mate. That's a brilliant fish today, mate. Fantastic, well done, mate. That's a mega fish today, that, mate. Should be some more waiting for you. Hopefully, yeah. Keep going. That's an absolute monster fish today. That could, uh, I mean, I don't know how many fish he's got to go with that. He had lots of hide with it. But now, I mean, at the time there's 45 minutes left, he's got time for quite a few more of those, and that peg looks absolutely ideal for it. Let's have a look over on Strip. Any more, Dean? Is it still quiet? All quiet, mate. No wind at all, it's flat calm on here now. Well, I've just got back over to Mick on Strip, and I says, is it all quiet? He says, yeah, it's all quiet. And just as I said, his float's gone under. He says this is the first bite he's had since I left him, which is unbelievable. It's really, it's funny how this end of the lake's fishing really hard. There's no wind on it, it's flat calm as you can see. He's just hooked this on his short line, his top, I think it's top kit plus two by the looks of it. It's a decent fish. Only needs those to rock up for the last three quarters of an hour and he can really put some weight on the scale. Well done mate. That's good to see Mick get that fish. I'm not going to walk down that bank of the strip, purely because a lot of them are fishing the margins and I don't want to damage the chances of catching down the margin and there is an open match on the right hand bank on Loco and they are feeding and fishing their margins at the moment as well so I'm going to stay off that bank I'm just going to have a walk opposite them just to see if there's any action find out what's been happening I'm back here back down his margin Mark's still catching whatever he can on that short line but now it's a bit of a test of nerves for a few people now Well, I don't know if it's coincidence, but we just saw that decent fish caught on peg two on beaches. I've just come over to strip and Mick got one as soon as I got there on, on the second peg in. But then he's had another one, the next drop in, another F1. And then I've looked down the line, um, I think Aaron got one. Um, and then uh, Keith Harrison got one as well, all in that short period. So maybe that's a sign that they're gonna have a little bit of a feed now in this last 
40 minutes or so they weren't big fish but they are fish and that was the most activity I've seen for a while so I'm gonna have another Mark's just hooked one here on his short on his short line he's just frantically adding on a section so this looks like it could be another F1 which is what he was hoping to get um, on that eyed line looks like it whatever it is it's a bonus fish whatever size it is but Mark's just been taking what he can on this line taking the eyed but then obviously the odd F1's come along as well it looks like he's got relatively light elastic on as well which is ideal for those eyed well done Mark F1 we kind of predicted that this was going to happen I honestly expected one or two bigger fish coming out but I don't know you know what the stocking level is as regards bigger carp on this lake on beaches um, so they are only a pound and a half but they're going to make a big difference because they're going to cancel out you know eight um eight eyed you know each one or six eyed so could be interesting i'm going to walk around towards the, the bowl now just to see what's happening around there well i'm round here in this bowl now are you with mark on peg 10. mark's never fished a match before have you mate i've not not our first time today this is his first time ever fishing right and he's loving it he's got he's got a few f1s he's not caught as many silvers as other people but he has fished for better fish anyway He's on the pole now, obviously he's got all this area here and he's caught one or two fish down to his, slightly to his left on the feeder, slightly them pound and a half F1s, yeah, and half, two but now he's on the pole now, this wind is still, it's not a strong wind, it's just a bit of a breeze and he's going down this margin, it's quite a deep margin as well, but he's just had another F1 there. Just cupping some bait and then dropping his rig over the top. But it's uh, steady away mate, as long as you're enjoying it, that's the I main am, thing. Am. Keep putting fish in net mate, well he had a bite there straight away, I'm going to let him concentrate on it. Good luck mate. Cheers, well we're into the last 30 minutes now, behind Tony, Tony the uh, Tony the cupcake. I've just had one of those Tony, they are absolutely beautiful mate. Are they called cupcakes or are they buns or muffins? No, they, are they are cupcakes, I've guessed well there. Yeah. Is it still uh, Catching eyed? I've just had an F1. Yep. Pound, like, you know, £2 F1, that's a nice bonus. I'll get a few more, but uh, that one seems to have quite and swim, right? That's it, typical. Yeah. Reports are that Matt's had a carp. Matt the carp, Blackmore. How big? Probably a big pound. A pound? Yeah. Oh. Are you still getting bites from eyed and everything there? Yeah. Good. Probably about 20 pound all in, I think. Oh, brilliant. Plenty of bites there, mate. Plenty of fish. Yeah, I'll, I'll be Over on the other side of the lake, Rob Marsh has just hooked a good fish. By looking at the depth of his rig, it looks like he's probably hooked that down the margin. Gave him a good tussle, but he's landed it, so that's put him right in contention now. As we know, he had 88 eyed. He's probably got a few more now, and he's got about four or five net fish, but that was a good fish, so that's really put him in contention on that point just there in the white cap. Um, Let's see how this lovely margin's doing. Is this beautiful margin producing yet? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> right. Absolutely, just eyed. Mate. Just eyed? Yeah, absolutely. It's the best eyed margin looking peg in Britain. Yeah. By the looks of it. Absolutely. Doesn't matter what I put in. Yeah. yeah. You do realise if this were a silvers only match, you'd be hooking carp down there, don't yeah, you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's about right. John Whelan up at this top end where this bay has been, well it's not left out, it just hasn't been drawn. He's caught right down this margin. He's just dropped his method feeder, that's John who was catching on the waggler earlier. He's put that down, I don't know if that's because he's gone for better fish or whether the eyes just disappeared, but he's put his method feeder um, just down to his margin, down the side of those reeds and he's just had three F1s in three casts. So there's definitely been more fish caught in this last 45 minutes, however, they aren't the big fish that I expected. They are certainly bigger fish than what's been caught. They're a pound and a half sort of fish, but they're not the big munters. 
30 minutes left. I'm just around the top end of the lake and Jeff's here. Jeff's the one who caught that eight stroke nine pounder. Anybody who catches any fish like that, it's gonna be very, very hard to call. Well, we're into the last 15 minutes now and to be fair, it's looking quite quiet around the lake right now. Apart from the odd person playing a fish, which is slightly bigger than I'd. It looks like most people have actually gone for better fish. Even the people that were catching eyed earlier on, the eyed lines have kind of died down a little bit. I'm here just round a little bit of a point. Philip's, Philip's got a fish there, looks like another eyed. Yep, see a grain of corn, spat up the line as well. So he's obviously <laughs> slightly overgunned. Just saying he's got his carp gear on and he's still catching eyed there. So he's slightly overgunned. Um, he's been going, I mean, Philip's been going for better fish for quite a while now. He's got a lovely inviting corner here, but it looks like they've just not turned up. Certainly not yet anyway, there's only 15 minutes left. As I look around the lake, it's gone a little bit quieter, but most people now are fishing down the margin. This is Rob here, who we saw net that fish a few minutes ago. He's down the margin as we expected. And you could see that on his rig, how shallow it was on that fish that he uh, hooked and landed. Most people are down the margins now, as you can see. And that's why I'm not going near the water's edge at the minute. I don't want to ruin their chances of catching anything down these margins. But um, it's, yeah, there's quite a few people chasing big fish now. They need big fish to get back in it. I think a few people are kicking themselves now, wishing they'd got their heads down on eyed. But on any other day, the carp and that might may have fed. But there's 15 minutes left. And as we know, there are fish in here well into double figures. Just one of those will make a big difference. I'm now back down at peg 39 stroke 40. We're back with Lee, who we had it as winning. And he's still on his short line. So to me, that means he's still catching. Yeah. Are they no still... carp have been playing. Pardon? No carp have been playing. No carp. You've been down this edge, haven't you? Any signs? Better yeah, fish? I've, I've tried, but I've had a little bit of a, sort of a bit of a line, but I think that I, Jamie. Just messing with it. So are they still on that line pretty strong that you're on now? Slowed yeah. down a bit. I've had a, a bit of a, a mare at one point, so a bit better uh, took it. And Did it? I think it was a tench, but it come in and got me on a route. All right. Did you lose rig or something? or? Uh, I lost my hook length, that's all. Right. So, so you've just not stuck, spent too much time down this margin. You've focused back on that line, yeah. kept that line, kept putting fish in the net. I've kept feeding it. Yeah. And uh, they've just stayed all day still feeding positive as you can see and um, so yeah it's going to be it's going to be very hard to beat i mean there's only 15 minutes left anyway so it's going to take quite a lot of uh, decent fish to rock up the better fish that have been caught late on and there has been more fish caught late on they're only pound and a half fish it's not like the five six seven eight pounders they're only pound and a half which are bonus fish on what's been caught but it's going to take quite a few of those to catch these lads that have got their heads down on hide so I'm going to let him focus for the last 15 minutes. Keep going mate. Well we're into the last couple of minutes and there hasn't been a flurry at all down this bottom end. Everybody, as you can see, marks down his margin here. Obviously going for a better fish, better fish, better fish, better fish, you know, and they're just not playing ball at the minute. So uh, I think there will have been one, two surprises that last 45 minutes or so. I think some people will have caught, because they weren't mega big fish. The thing is when you, you know, when you're on the bank like this, if people are playing big fish, they're playing them for a few minutes. And obviously that gives you more chance to see them. But when people are landing pound and a half fish, then they'll land them much quicker so they don't always get noticed as quick so i think it's going to be interesting at the weigh-in we're here on strip most people are straight out in front straight out in front straight out in front everybody's straight out in front on that short line that four five meter line so that would suggest that that's been the best line on here i also expected more anglers casting over to this far bank and i think a few people have tried it but i've only really seen <coughs> keith down there you can probably just see him in the matrix jacket with the uh, lime green sleeve he's the only one that i know of that's actually caught casting right across everybody else's the fish that they've caught have been on that top kit plus two sort of line but i'm pretty sure some of these weights are going to be quite surprising when people are catching lots of fish uh, the weights tend to surprise you so i'm going to grab the scales now and uh, we'll get weighing in we're going to start over on strip peg 14 
weigh that one first and then head on over to Beecher's. This is Keith, Keith Harrison, he's admitting to 66 pounds, that's his guess, so let's see how accurate he is. Look at them, it's done way better than I thought mate. Have you got another net as well, which yeah. sort is it? More than that, mate. I had 51 on me click F and me cap. Oh, did you? 58. Nine. 58, nine. Oh, just do yeah. it all in front of you, Keith, mate. Let's just give a shot of things. Well that's fished way better than what I thought. When people were catching all those small fish, I didn't think they, really, they were really putting weights together of them. Yes, they have been four to the pound, but in some occasions they've been probably three to the pound as well. So it's been a very interesting uh, day as regards how both lakes have fished. So I'm gonna head back now, do the payout, and I'll show you the weights. Mm -hmm. 